Are you thinking about raising chickens and building your own chicken coop? In this multi-part video I'm going to show you how we built our beautiful, simple and functional chicken coop as a family summer project. Hi and welcome, I'm Andreas. On this channel I build all kinds of projects for my shop and for my home. I try to become a better woodworker along the way, learning new skills and I share with you what I learned on each of my projects. So if you want to improve your woodworking skills yourself, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you won't miss any future videos. And now let's get going. We've made a chamfer to all the cuts so that they're not as sharp and the next step will be to screw together first the, the front part then the back part and then the, to connect the two parts together to get the whole cage for the chicken coop which can then be continued on with siding and so on. finished um, assembling the front and the back frame um, we've just used long screws that went through this the uprights and into the end grain of the, the, the square pieces here normally you wouldn't screw into the end grain or you wouldn't consider that too stable because the screw in the end grain might come loose at some point but since this will all be covered with OSB siding which will be screwed on um, the whole frame should be stable enough and the siding with the screws will provide enough stability so that screwing into the end grain should not be a problem. The next step now is to make this a complete cage so to speak. Um, for this we have to go outside the shop because once we've uh, mounted the square pieces uh, it will be too large to fit through the door. One small step that we have yet to do and that we're going to do inside here is to attach metal feet um, to the bottom because that will lift the whole thing up from the floor about two, uh, two centimeters and since this thing is going to be outside it will be on slabs of concrete um, 
That's a good idea to take it off the ground so that the moisture and the rain will not seep into the end grain from the bottom. Just lifting it up a little bit will do that. It will get wet, but it will have a chance to dry off again. And that should make the whole thing last longer because it prevents rot from moisture um, from the bottom. framing stone. These frames will be painted white in all the spots that will be visible afterwards while the siding will get a different color. So we're going to paint this now before we put on the siding. Mm -hmm. Now the frame is done and painted. The next step is the siding. I'm going to use OSB um, because I still have two large sheets of it and it's fairly cheap. It's not exactly an outdoor material but we're going to paint it twice with very high quality paint so I hope it's going to be okay. And I made sure that um, the roof has some overhang so that the, the rain doesn't get completely onto the siding but is kept away from the roof by the roof overhang. So now I'm going to cut the pieces for the siding.
Now, while the paint dries with the first coat of paint, we're going to work on the floor of the chicken coop and on the box where the hens will lay their eggs in. So basically it fits, but um, it doesn't slide past this piece here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew this. Maybe it's enough to just remove one screw so that I can turn this frame piece a little bit and then it might slide past. Otherwise, I'm just going to take it out completely and screw it back in afterwards. This concludes part one. Part two will go live in about two weeks time. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss it. And I'll see you in the second part.